the Singapore Classic Golf Tournament, which is the first stop on the 2023 Asian swing of the DP World Tour, the former European Tour professional golf tournament happening out at Tanamera, uh, excuse me, at Laguna National Golf Course uh, this weekend through Sunday. And uh, featuring, you know, the golfers and the usual stuff, but there are some interesting activities uh, uh, on the side that are happening as well. On with us now to talk more about it, Patrick Bowers, the Executive Championship Director for the Singapore Classic 2023, and Eliza Chong Hui Hui, the Singapore National Volleyball Player, also involved in the 2022 Commonwealth Games, a professional. You do not want to go up against her on the beach when it comes to volleyball. Good morning. Welcome to both of you. Uh, so happy to have you on the show. Morning. Happy to be here, Glenn and Neil. Yeah. All right, let's get straight into it. Patrick, give us a quick overview of the golf first, because it is a major tournament, and then we really do want to get stuck into the volleyball. <laughs> yes, uh, glad. Get me out of the way early, Neil. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, given who's sitting next to you, do you blame us? I mean, really. No, nope, not at all. Not at all. Um, Please, Patrick, yeah. CP World Tour is returning to Singapore after uh, almost a 10-year absence. Nine years it's been. So uh, fantastic to have them on our shores again. As you know, uh, the top 10 players in the DP World Tour uh, from now on move on to the PGA Tour due to their strategic alliance. Uh, so we've got uh, 12 of the top 100 players in the world and 17 of the top 150 playing here, including a uh, young amateur named Ding Wen Yi, who's actually leading the tournament, which is exceedingly rare in a professional event. He's on minus wow. 12 right now. Wow, great. Wow, and what's the, what's the turnout been so far, Patrick? It's been great. I mean, hospitality uh, in the VIP section has been great. Thursday, Friday is typically the norm, right? Doing business at the event. And uh, many of our partners and sponsors have had their guests out. And today it's been incredible. So we've probably got uh, a couple thousand people out now from the, I'll have to check the numbers later. And before we bring in Eliza, let's just stay with you for a second, Patrick. Beach volleyball in the bunker. Tell me about the brainstorming <laughs> session where that came to light. Because I love it. Well, you know, we know the hardcore golfer will come out and see us and uh, they'll always find a golf event, right? But what yeah. about these people who are so-called on the fringe that are interested but intimidated by golf? You know, they're sort of the top golfers of today, is, you know, top golf concept. And so how to attract them in? So, you know, Eliza is a friend and um, we know that uh, beach volleyball is both attractive from a professional standpoint and we've got huge waste bunkers out here on one of the courses with a beautiful... A restaurant called The Nest with a bar and grill there. So we put the DJ up on the patio. It's overlooking nice. the big waste bunker. Wow. Liza and her team helped us uh, get the nets and the whole logistics set up. She brought three of her national team teammates, and it was fantastic. People loved it. Eliza, what's it like playing uh, volleyball, beach volleyball at a golf course? Or is it Honestly, sand is sand, doesn't matter where? Honestly, it's actually the first time. It's the strangest place I ever played. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> right. Thank you. That, that's the quote yeah. of the interview right there. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool, like, in terms of the environment and the view itself. That's the plane that we came, came over. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's something, and it's the first time that actually one of, I mean, it's an S, uh, for me, a beach volleyball athlete, we do, like, do this, like, event itself. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. are, you, mm -hmm. are, you, are you done playing, or will you be playing more throughout the weekend, or how, what's the schedule like? Uh, no, it's only on, uh, yes, it's on the Friday, Thursday itself, the first day of the event. We yeah, mix it up right. each night, so we've got mm -hmm. live entertainment now on the island in the pool side. Eliza okay. and her crew uh, started off the entertainment on Thursday night for us. And uh, so we've got live entertainment and stuff continuing on the rest of the weekend. Brilliant. And Eliza, just bringing it back to you, I mean, excuse my naive, uh, naivety here, but, I, you know, bunkers are curved at the sides and generally speaking, beach volleyball pitches, for want of a better word, courts are flat. I mean, w was there any challenges or differences in playing in a bunker? Um. It's honestly, no. It's almost actually similar in terms of the sand wise. Yeah, it's mm. similar, but it's just maybe the area of the circumference because it's right beside the <laughs> river. So a lot of times <laughs> where we have this boat man who's actually going down and picking up all the balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, the, um, it was really funny. The, the cheers at the end, the MC announced all the players, right? And the players got a rousing applause. And then they announced the boatman, who was, we had prearranged a guy from the maintenance team in the boat 
because we had <laughs> volleyball because it's surrounded by a lake. He got the largest applause, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> it was really, actually, yeah. really fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Patrick, do you, uh, you know, taking this to a, a macro level, is, is this the way of the future for golf uh, in Singapore or even regionally, internationally, to have more side events like this? We all know, like you said, about the hospitality suites on Thursday and Friday, and then they get the business done, et cetera, uh, during those. But having more of these uh, interesting and non-golf related events, is that the way forward, do you think? I think so, Glenn. You're seeing it with concepts like Top Golf, for example, where people are interested in the sport, but they're very intimidated by it. It's expensive to start. It's hard to get access, but they like it. It's on TV a lot, right? It's heavily promoted. Some of the biggest sports stars in the world, like the Tiger Woods of the world, are, are in golf. Mm. So how do people get a piece of it or, or experience it? Because I can tell you how many people that came out here to watch the volleyball and were blown away at the beauty of the setting or that they might want to try it. Uh, because we've got a nine-hole putting course as part of the village. We have a closest to the pin shootout as part of the village. They can try that quite easily. Everybody can roll a putt with a like mini putt, right? So right. I think it's important if we want to engage both the youth and sports people in general, you know, like Eliza and her friends who are good athletes, but maybe are a bit intimidated by the game of golf. <laughs> Well, you've half answered it there, Patrick. Um, These futuristic, you know, multi-generational events like beach volleyball, is it coming back next year, number one? Is volleyball coming back? And what else do you have in mind? Well, listen, we're here for the long term. We've got a long-term agreement with both the tour and the host venue. And if Liza and her friends will come back, we'll have her for sure. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Liza? I mean, thought, yeah. your thoughts. Are you keen on coming back? Would you like to see this be a regular thing? And also, you know, other events. Sand is sand. Like you said, you could play almost anywhere. Yeah, because like for beach uh, volleyball, in terms of the net-wise, it's actually portable. So anywhere you want to go, as long as there's a sand, we can just like set it up. So it's pretty easy in terms of that. But yeah, I definitely do see a future. Yeah, I think it's really fun because there will be, I think, because like golf itself, there is a wide known of like uh, fans and followers and beach volleyball itself also. That's really like a lot of followers and fans. So I think with these two like combination of it, right, it's a really, really very exciting and a great experience. Yeah, mainly for the fans itself. Yeah, nice. and what more, I mean, as in terms of the sand wise, I think the closest only us like beach volleyball. <laughs> yeah, and then it's yeah. related to golf. So yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Patrick, uh, today and tomorrow, last two days, can folks still uh, get tickets to go out to Laguna National and, and walk the course and watch the players today and tomorrow? Yeah, sure can. It's very easy. It's done digitally on Cystic, and they're available. And actually important to note that anybody who is 16 or under, as long as they're with an adult with a ticket, they have complimentary entry. So if people are thinking of bringing their kids out to see Great. a bit of the game, the young superstars, please come on out. We're running yeah. a shuttle, uh, public parking and MRT directly to the Singapore Expo, and we're running a shuttle every half hour from the Singapore Expo over. So very easy and convenient to get here. Brilliant. And just briefly in a few seconds, what other events have you got lined up for the next two days? Well, fantastic. You need to come and see the putting course. You need to play giant ping pong and monster Jenga in the village. And, of course, we have uh, nefarious friends playing live every evening in the village now. Nefarious friends. I like it. That sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to have to leave it there. But uh, thanks for being with us today. Patrick Bowers, the Executive Championship Director of the Singapore Classic 2023. And Eliza Chong, Hui Hui, the Singapore National Volleyball Player. New games around the game of golf. Thanks for being with us and hope to see you. Uh, well, we hope to see you before next year, but we'll definitely see you next year as well. Thanks, thanks for having guys. Me. Thank you. Thank you.